And here's the thing about procrastination. Very often when people don't want to do something, they do something else instead. Okay. This is called distraction or diversion. There's an alternative, which is you don't do anything else. You just sit and wait. You know the thing that you're procrastinating. You just stay mm -hmm. in it. You don't push yourself to do anything with it. You just sit and wait. Okay. At a certain moment, a creative impulse arises. A creative impulse is the impulse to get up and do something about it. All right. Okay. At that point, you engage the thing that you were procrastinating about. The difference is if you distract yourself with something else, that's procrastination. If you sit and wait for the creative impulse, that's not procrastination. That's, you could call it gestation if you want. All right. See? There's a 100% difference between the two because when you just sit and wait, you allow the forces of your creative impulse to gather. Very often people push themselves to do something when they're disinclined to do it and don't have a tailwind. There's no wind in their sails. All right. This does not work very well. Mm, I can see that, yeah. Whereas if you just sit in place, knowing what it is that you're not doing, you don't do anything with it. You just sit and wait. At a certain point, the tailwind comes up. Okay. Test that. Now, sometimes there's a timing or preparation issue. It's not really that we're procrastinating. It's that we needed to let the charge build enough to give us some tailwind, some propulsion. Okay. What do you think? How does I that fit? I think that fits. Okay, so let's test it out next time. If you still uh, are problematic about it after you've done that at least a couple of times, then mm -hmm. we could run a procedure on it. Okay. Part of it is that the notion of procrastination comes from previous conditioning when someone else wanted us to do something. All right. In that situation, we don't have any t tailwind. We have no propulsion. They're wanting us to do something isn't propulsion. Propulsion has to come from ourselves. Okay. The other is called nagging or being pushy, and it encounters resistance. Okay. Whereas, if the tailwind arises in us, it doesn't encounter re resistance. Okay. I hope that illuminates something and makes it much easier for you. I think so. Yeah. This is something that I do, especially if I've run into frustration with something. I've, uh, I've gotten wiser about it. Instead of continuing to push and drive against frustration, I've learned walk away sooner than later and sit and wait. Very often, a, a solution to the frustration appears, an alternative route, and the tailwind or propulsion comes with it. Okay. Okay. That's when I encounter frustration. At other times, I finish a task successfully, and I feel a little bit used up. And so mm -hmm. I walk away and I just sit. And at a certain point, boingo, up comes the creative impulse. Okay.